Live from Portsmouth, Shock and Awe present three three minute rounds for the amateur mixed martial arts flyweight title. Please welcome firstly in to the cage. In the blue corner, he is undefeated at 4-0. Weighing in at 123.2 pounds, representing Jay Butler, BJJ. Fighting out of fleet, Adam, the end game. When the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of 12 wins and four defeats. Weighing in at 124.3 pounds, representing SBG. He is the reigning defending shock and or amateur flyweight champion from Dublin, Ireland, Squeaky Gary Rooney. Unraglan of an autumn day I saw her first and knew that her dark hair would weave a snare that I might one day rule I saw the danger and I passed along the enchanted way and I said let grief be a fallen leaf at the dawning of the day on Grafton Street in November, we tripped lightly along the land of a deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passion's pledge. The Queen of Hearts still making tart, and I'm not making hay. Oh, I love too much, and by such, by such is happiness thrown. I gave her gifts of the mind. I gave. 
Chocanor flyweight championship on the line here. Rooney, the amateur flyweight champ from SBG Island in the red corner. His opponent and the challenger, Adam Game in the blue. Game coming from the Jay Butler BJJ camp. This should be a good one. Yeah, Bruni in at number one at the Amateur UK and Ireland flyweight. I'm a veteran, great striking, clean Muay Thai, excellent grappling, possesses a very high level of BJJ. Loves to roll for a leg lock as well for a crowd pleasing finish. Looking for that takedown, gets it. Top position here now. Kane gets back to the feet. Yeah, Kane jumping straight back up. Game ranked 18th of the active UK and Ireland flyweights. Nice striking. Usually likes to use the rapid footwork. But been negated so far by Rooney's initiation of the clinch. Yeah, Rooney definitely wants to grapple. Uh, nice takedown. Clearing off the hip there with that, that bottom knee. Possibly looking for an arm triangle, maybe, from that position. Yeah, he's trapping the arm. Oh, yeah. that's nice work. Excellent work, but... Oh, that's still tight there. That's still tight. He can adjust his legs just a little bit. Gary Rui hunting for the head and arm. Got that top position again here now. Yeah, if he can go off to his left. Oh, done well. Adam Game, very good defense. He, he looks like he's looking for it again. I think it's really, you know, one of the best positions to get this is, is from half guard and then passing through to the other side. He looks like he's trying to maneuver his way here between the north-south. Maybe to set up the Kimura. He can attack that right arm potentially of game. Game having to keep it low, of course, to stay away from the head and arm triangle we just saw. Das oh, now from yeah. the bomb position. Can he finish it? Gary Rooney looking to squeeze. He's got some nice coverage. The current flyaway champ looking to squeeze his way to victory. Looks like a gap under there though. Don't think there's much on it. Game trying to disengage the right arm from the neck. If he gets out of this though, he could have the top position. Yeah, using the knee on Benny well to separate it. He could fight the hands as well. If he can peel off the right arm of Rooney, he can start to free the head out of this position. Impressive work by Game though, to stay away from that submission. Yeah, very impressive. Game gets up and he just looks calm, as calm as you like. Yeah, I like the grappling, Gary Rooney, really super aggressive. Taking any chance that's there, any, anything that's left behind, whether it be an arm or a neck, he's just going for it. You can tell he wants to make this a, a grappling match. And he wants, to, he wants to get the sub, for sure. Second round coming your way for the Shock and Awe Amateur Flyweight Championship. Rooney in the red and Game in the blue. Follow us on Instagram at Shock and Awe UK. Game works on the outside. Gotta be wary of that level change in the takedown. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if Rooney's going to go for it again. Nice uppercut from Game. Just to tell the level change. Great outside trip, though, from Rooney. Very nice. 
Bryant's got the hips again. Game scoots with his back against the cage. He's got to look to plant one hand down to the ground and get the feet underneath him for this cage walk. Rudy's response to try and lace the legs. Nice work from game. Oh, well done by Adam Game. Good defense there. And I mean, him being, he, he looks a bit taller as well. I mean, that can help also. But yeah, great misdirection. And now he's inside control. Now Game in the top position. Let's see what he has. He looks to control the head here. Heavy shoulders the key. If he wants to get to mount, he's going to have to be careful about the roll through here. Rooney will often wait for the ample opportunity to switch this position as his opponents go to mount him. Rooney chasing the single leg. He's going to try and potentially chase the half guard. Gives up the back. Oh, big lift and a slam down here by Adam Game. Rooney looking for the switch potentially. Can he get some control of his own? Can he get a takedown of his own? Rooney really looking for the counter, doesn't get it. Great wrestling from Adam Game. He likes to keep a ferocious pace, and he's living it up to that. Right now here with some nice ground and pound. You can see Rooney's guard now. Oh! That's close, that's close. Rooney really looking for the armbar here. He's gonna try and get that thumb to the sky, switches to the Umu Plata. Games tries to skip over the body. Oh, beautiful jiu-jitsu. Rooney really rolling for the triangle. Oh, he's gotta watch his arm as well. Oh, he's switching to the armbar as well, yes. He can switch to the shoulder lock as well. He could also go to the opposite side, straight armbar. Lots of trouble there. Game's got to just try and ride it out. Look at the shoulder lock. Tremendous pressure. Oh. Rolls through to avoid the armbar. Seconds left. Ro Rudy reestablishes the triangle lock. Unable to finish game, oh, though. Wow. Great action. Amazing submission defense there from Game. Same calm and collected. Didn't even see any pain on the face when the armbar was being talked or the shoulder lock. No, deadly calm, and you know a lot. Of, a lot of it, I think, is just the size difference. You know, Adam Game is able to get up to his knees. He was in the, the tr traditional, you know, armbar position on his back, but he was able to scramble to his knees and stack. Um, you know, before he got put in the triangle. But, I mean, you know, we've just seen like four legit <laughs> submission attempts all in a row, and this is what it's all about. Amateur flyweight championship on the line. Rooney in game, Rooney in the red, game in the blue. Third and final round, three minutes on the clock. Head kick from game. Showing that uppercut again to deter the, the level change. Rooney storms in, knee to the body from game. That's nice work. Game now seems to have found his rhythm, looking for the question mark kick. Yeah, I mean, his confidence has definitely grown. Game on the outside here, looking to finish the takedown, switching to the back control. Head kick in the separation, that's nice work. Game pressing forward. Seems like he's got a different gear. He switched to overdrive, goes to the body, and again from Game. I mean, Rooney's output in the first couple of rounds, I wonder if that's, you know, playing a part. So he has slowed a little. Rooney wrestling here, Matt return, top position now. Great 
take down. Again, working that arm triangle position from the half guard. Kane's got to be careful about leaving that right arm towards his head. As you alluded to, Colin, he's trying to maneuver that head and arm. He wants to try and lock that position up. Yeah, and, but he's also got other options. I mean, he's got a straight arm, arm bar there on that side as well. If he doesn't want to pass. Um, and aside from anything else, he's on top and in control. So, you know, that's good for the judges. Really heavy in this top position here. Game looking for a way out. Really steps cross now, looking to go to north south. Good pass. He's got options. Referee asking for some more action here, but it could give Game the avenue to escape as Rooney starts to strike in the dead space. Rooney controlling from this position. Game goes hips down, gives up the back, chases a single. He's going to switch to the opposite side leg if he wants to complete that. There we go. Now he can switch to the double if he wants. Nice switch from Rooney. Wow, 10 seconds left, what a fight. Rooney drags him back down to the canvas. Came back to his feet here, now up against the cage. Pressure from the outside. Rooney gives up the back. The time has elapsed. Rooney believes he's done enough, Colin. Yeah, I mean, there was so much going on in that fight. You know, perhaps he did, but yeah, I mean, I was just really impressed. That was such a good fight to watch. Both guys, you know, they had so good on the ground. Lots to offer. I just love seeing the, the submissions chained together. I mean, it's not often you see that in MMA, but seeing them chained together like that, going from one one to the next to the other, really exciting stuff. But as we said, this will be for the Amateur Flyweight Championship. Currently, Rooney ranked number one, game ranked 18. The experience is invaluable with regards to the cage time. Looks like the uh, scorecards are being consolidated here. And we'll hand it over to our MC, Mr. Ricky Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 29-28. 29-27 and 29-28. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, your shock and all flyweight champion, Squeaky Gary Rooney. Yup the fuck! 